Welcome back fellow Plastic Liberators. Uh, as promised, if you follow me on Twitter, Instagram and my Facebook group, um, I had this little pick up during the week, <clears throat> excuse me, but uh, due to family commitments, could only get the video out today. Um, there's actually two lots that I picked up. These were during the week, uh, just going around local shops and, and such. And the other was um, a few items I got from the Disney store, um, as they have a, another sale at the moment. So uh, this is pickup number one, and this is pickup number two. Okay, so we'll start with the uh, midweek pickup, which is what you see on the table now. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll start with a uh, nice little strawberry shortcake book. I'm always looking out for books. I'm a big reader. I'm obviously not going to read Strawberry Shortcake, but being a child that grew up during the 80s, know that anything Strawberry Shortcake is worth picking up. I believe it's still going, but obviously the collectors tend to go for the earlier stuff. So that's a nice little find. Costs hardly anything as well. Uh, next up, we have some Mighty Beans. I'm not overly sure on Mighty Beans. There was a sealed play set. The box, uh, I don't know what's happened to it. it. It is sealed, but somebody's had a right go at the front of the packaging. But I'm sure in time, somebody out there is gonna want it as the contents are still mint. So that was the play set. And then there were two of these uh, soft cases, which are chock full of Mighty Beans, whatever Mighty Beans are but for the price, just couldn't leave them. So, I have to check those out. Let's see what they're going for. Uh, next up, we have a Tiger Who Came For Tea Plush. So, anything like this, based on a book, it's always worth picking up a plush if you see it. Stick it with a book, and it will make a great difference on the price. So, yeah, pick that one up. Then we have rather nice mini art 172 scale medieval castle which is complete and unbuilt that was a nice find and next up a really nice dan dare volume 2 i believe this is the the original 50s comic strips uh, put into a hardback book great price <clears throat> um i'll probably move it on I'm a huge UK comic uh, fan. I, I had a collection a few years back which was astronomical, including a full run of 2000 AD, but due to space, um, I had to let it go, unfortunately. So, yeah, um, not a massive fan of Dan Dare. Didn't read too much of The Eagle. Preferred the later stuff, to be fair, with The Eagle than the, the earlier stuff. Um, but yeah, I'll probably move that one on, to be fair, and find something else that I do want. Uh, next up is a Leatherface Texas Chainsaw Massacre plush, which is rather nice. Gotta say, this and The Thing are my favourite horror films, the, the original Chainsaw Massacre. My wife refuses to watch it with me anymore, she watched it once and that was enough for her, but yeah, absolutely beautiful film. So that was a, a little cool Leatherface. Uh, I believe that's a Ben 10 figure, not entirely sure, I've not looked into it yet to be fair, but looking at it I would say it's Ben 10. They're both perched upon this absolutely beautiful Action Force Z Force Armoured Troop Carrier. If you watch my other videos, I had quite um, a good haul of Action Force recently. And it has kind of stoked a fire inside of me. I don't know whether I'm going to be keeping the Action Force items and uh, and starting a collection on those. But I've just got so much stuff, guys. So much stuff. I, I think I'm going to have to thin down somewhere. Um, might have to move on some Star Wars, some of the larger items. I've got a lot of box vehicles and things. So, uh, yeah, Star Wars and Marvel Universe. Don't really want to, but I've got to make room somewhere, guys. Right, we've got three DVDs as well. Uh, Mummies Alive, if you saw one of my later videos, I picked up uh, four or five Mummies Alive figures, so I saw this DVD and I thought, well, yeah. So I'll probably put those on as a lot on eBay uh, and add the DVD to I think that's volume two. 
So we could, if I could find volume one as well, then that'll make a nice little lot. Uh, got the Tangled. As you know, Disney's always worth picking up. And the, the prices I got these for, it was a no brainer really. So that'll go with, I've got quite a, quite a collection of Disney duplicates going on. We have got our own collection uh, in the house. Um, but I've got quite a collection now of duplicates going on. So come Christmas time, nice little bundle of those. Uh, next up was the complete collection of Chigley. I can't remember if I saw this as a child, Chigley. I believe it's like Trumpton and, and that kind of thing. But yeah, there's a, there's a good little profit on that one. About £10 item on eBay. So, great. Uh, another Lemony Snicket's uh, series of unfortunate events. I sell these in bundles. I think I've got about two thirds of a bundle at the moment. I'm not sure if this one's a duplicate, but I always pick them up um, to make a nice little set with. Uh, then we have an Avengers Encyclopedia on the front. Oh, I've got to sort these tables out, guys, doing my nothing. I believe I've got this one myself, but again, at the price, I thought I'd grab it. And next to that, we have one of the old carnival books, Super Ted. I used to have loads of these when I was a kid. Super Ted and the Indian Prince. Again, anything UK TV related, always worth picking up, guys. And then we have a Queen Complete Works updated edition. I've got the recent edition of this one. Um, I believe this one's different, to be fair. It, it's got all the song lyrics in it. You know, it's got all the music in the back. I'm, I'm pretty sure mine hasn't. But that was an absolute uh, bargain, so I couldn't leave that behind. And then we have a Thundercats annual. Not check the year. I should imagine 88, 89, probably. Unclipped as well. And they're right in there. £4.25, guys. Bargain. Oh, 91. So that would have been probably the last one or last but one, I should imagine. And then last of all in this lot was a John Lennon One Day at a Time book, which is full of great photos. It's a really nice book to be fair. I kind of am a Beatles fan and not at the same time. I, I don't like the early stuff, um, which people think is a bit strange sometimes. I prefer like the poppy years. Uh, when they started experimenting a bit more with the music. So uh, yeah, that was pickup number one, guys. Let's do pickup number two. Okay, guys, so uh, pickup number two. Uh, as I said, uh, Disney store sale. <sighs> Disney store is a really odd place. They, they tend to have these on an out sale, so you've really got to be popping in there as often as you can, really. Lucky for me, uh, my local shopping centre, uh, I'm down there a couple of times a week, so if it is on, I do tend to, to catch it. Um, the prices to, uh, I picked up a couple of items a couple of weeks ago, uh, well, about a week ago when the sale started. Uh, I'm trying to finish my Last Jedi collection, and they've reduced a couple of figures, that, well, they've reduced all the figures down to, I believe it was 525, something like that, so I grabbed a couple while I could. Obviously, I'd pick it a bunch at the time because I think the sale started that day, uh, but when I went in this Friday, uh, they've reduced them down further to £3.15, so it's a no-brainer, yeah. Um, obviously the better figures were gone, but I still needed some of the, the basic stuff anyway, so picked up what I could while I was there. Um, so I got a Jedi Training Ray. Now I do already have this figure. This figure comes in the other, du uh, the other duo, um, which is Ray and a Praetorian Guard. It is the same figure, but <laughs> because of the way that I am, it's actually a different paint app. I believe, uh, I'm not sure if it's this one or the one in the twin pack has a darker paint job. I'm pretty sure that is the only difference, but for £3.15, had to be done because I knew it was a running change. So yeah, Jedi Training Ray. Next one was uh, Finn. Everybody loves Finn, I know. Uh, I must have about, I don't know, 10 different versions of Finn uh, from from various lines. 
I'm not sure if this is a completely different figure, but I know that he has the stitching on the back of his jacket from uh, where Kylo Ren took him out during the, the duel uh, on Starkiller Base at the end of Force Awakens. That's the only reason I've picked it up. Yeah, even if I display him, you're not even going to see the stitching on the back of his jacket, but hey, yeah. One for the collection, so that price thought, yep, yeah, why not? Let's get him. Uh, next up was the Boba Fett and Han Solo twin pack. Uh, the twin packs, uh, I'm not a huge fan of. There are some good twin packs out there, um, but things like this, where they start reintroducing old characters and they're not even the best versions that you can get, I must have four or five Boba Fett's from better lines um, I can't even tell you what I have uh, legacy collection vintage collection I'm not sure but I have highly articulated versions of Boba Fett same with Han Solo vintage collection Han Solo but it was a five up so and I know some of these twin packs uh, eventually as time goes on do fetch a fair bit of money so five quid for two figures. Yeah, I thought why not? Let's get it. Boba and Han. And then last up, I've seen these before. The Star Wars Legion. Let's move these out of the way for you. Star Wars Legion Stormtrooper helmets. I'm not sure when these are released. They seem to be every few months. And they come in different designs. I've seen a Boba Fett one among others. Uh, this one being R2D2. Uh, really nice uh, collectible though these were 20 pound when the first were released in the disney store they are nice i wouldn't pay 20 pound i've got nowhere to display them but they actually reduced these down on friday to three pounds so that is just madness that was a no-brainer so jumped on it three pound from 20 gotta be done I've got to say as well it's it's probably one of the nicer ones. I've seen some of them and they're really busy. The, the paint up on them. That is quite a nice clean finish. So yeah. Star Wars Legion Stormtrooper R2D2 paint job. Great stuff. Okay. Thanks for joining me guys. You know the score. Share, like, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter and my Facebook group. The Mighty 375. Um, Let's do one of my galleries now on what I have been picking up. Uh, I'll add the details onto each picture. And uh, until next time, guys, uh, liberate that plastic.